Law enforcement analyst Cedric Alexander says it's easy for those of us seeing these videos to second guess the actions of the officer who shot Toledo. It's not until you are in that moment of engagement at that specific time, and a lot of it has to do with our training, it has to do with our own perceptions, and when these decisions are made in a millisecond. So none of us know. I don't know what I would have done. Alexander said Toledo's death is tragic, adding the city needs a full independent investigation to examine the facts before any real conclusions can be made. And for more now on what the legal process could be for this officer, we want to bring in Craig Futterman. Futterman is a professor at the University of Chicago Law School, serving as director on the Civil Rights and Police Accountability Project, playing a crucial role in getting video of the Laquan McDonald shooting released. And he joins us now. Craig, good evening. Because of your involvement in that case, I'm wondering uh, right out of the gate if you have drawn any parallels uh, to that case, or is it substantially different? Jason Van Dyke is serving time in prison. Um, it does come back. I mean, I can't help but come back into my mind and my heart when I watched that. And I saw that video and it was, it's beyond painful. I wish I didn't. And similar to all the fights that we had to try to reveal the truth about what happened to Laquan McDonald and to make that video public, I remember also after more than a year of fighting and finally forcing the city to make that video public, that when it was actually first made public and when I had a copy of that video, I couldn't bear to watch. And I, the first thing that happened was after I looked at that, I came back to home, got on the couch, and I cried. And I think similarly here, I wish I hadn't seen that video. I still feel shaken by it, um, no matter how you slice it. That's, a 13-year-old boy, a child who was trying to surrender, who put his hands up in the air and died before our very eyes at the hands of the police. And at the same time, and this is something, though, that I think was very unlike the Laquan McDonald case, um, in which Jason Van Dyke, without a doubt, just acted as a cowboy. That was no split-second thing. That was a sheer execution shot that boy like a dog in the street. Here, one of the things that was publicly different was after the shooting, immediately after the shooting, I saw that police officer too, and this isn't the same as the pain that the Toledo family would feel, not even close, but I saw a police officer who was deeply traumatized and in pain, and immediately after actually tried to do the right thing, owned up, said a shot's fired by the police, unlike what happened in Laquan McDonald, after saying shots fired by police, immediately, immediately rendered aid and tried to get emergency aid and treatment. I saw an officer who was deeply, deeply in pain and deeply traumatized, but I also saw an officer who shot a boy, and sadly, this culture brought him to a point who shot a 13-year-old boy who didn't have to die. You talked about how that was the beginning of America, Chicago, people looking at police reform needing to be addressed. Do you see that the reform is being made a little bit more because that video came out, or is there still a lot, still a lot more to be done? Gosh, I remember in that moment, um, and I remember when young folks took to the Magnificent Mile and something felt dramatically different. And I remember also the reactions of store owners and some of the same folks. And it wasn't just get those kids off the street. It was Mr. Mayor at that time, Rahm Emanuel, you need to do something about the reason why. And I saw it as an awakening, not an awakening for people in black and brown communities, but awakening that resonated throughout the world and throughout right, white America, an actual acknowledgement and a reckoning and having to reckon with the reality of systemic police abuse. But here we are now, that was, wow, um, the end of 2015, six years later, after the protest, after Police Accountability Task Force, after a new mayor, after a new prosecutor, after a Department of Justice come to Chicago, and we're still seeing this, and we're still feeling this, not just in Chicago, but around the nation. Nationwide, for sure. Craig Futterman, Chicago Law, uh, University of Chicago Law Professor. Be safe, be well. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you. you.